Hi, Jennifer. Uh, my name is Steven. I just want to let you know that I am recording on my side as well, okay? Okay. Okay, so I wanna, I, I called in last night and they told me to call you today. So let me just kind of give you a brief thing of what's happened unless you want to authenticate me first. What you want to do? I, I would prefer to authenticate you first. All right, go ahead. Let's do that. Later. Huh? All right, so could I get your first and last name? Yeah, it's Steven Tilly with a V. Okay. Sorry, yeah, you gave me that. And your address? Uh, 1806 12th Avenue, apartment B202, B is in boy, 202, Seattle, Washington, 98122. All right, and it looks like you already verified the last four numbers of your social security number on our automated system, so thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. All right, and, okay, so tell me what's going on. Okay, so on September 24th, I activated service here in Seattle. I had service in California. I think this is where we're getting screwed up. I haven't lived in California since August of 2014, so we're talking about a year and a couple months later, okay? So, okay. so I went and I asked them, because I remember when I left California that I may have forgotten to do something. I didn't know what it was. So I was like, hey, did I cancel service in California when I opened up service here in Seattle? They were like, no, but somebody's been paying the bill. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's great, that's good. I was like, but I need to cancel that service over there and get it activated over here. And then the representative was like, okay, we'll get it disconnected for you and, uh, and we'll get everything set up for your service here in Seattle. I was like, okay. They are like, you also are renting a modem over there. And I was like, well, I haven't talked to those people for over a year and two months. Uh, when I say people, I meant the landlord because I was renting a room. Um, and... Uh, and I was like, you're just probably what you're going to have to do is you're probably going to have to charge me for that modem um, and send the last bill to my address here in Seattle. Well, I got the bill last night <laughs> for $177. That's, that's okay, but the thing is, the $177 is activated service because the landlord over there went, opened up my mail illegally, took the account number, called in, pretended to be me, used the account number, added herself as an authorized representative. And they said they can't wow. disconnect. And now I call you. All right, so this is regarding, I just want to make sure we're on the same page. This is regarding the account in California, not your one in Seattle. Correct, correct. yeah, yeah, the one in Seattle, we're paid up, we're good on that. Yep, it's like, <laughs> that's this California one. <laughs> All right. Um, so. It was supposed to be canceled on like the 31st, or September 31st, I think, was the like the, the well, I don't know what the actual stop date was, What probably whatever that billing cycle was, but it was the 24th or the 34th or 31st of September when we like I called to get it disconnected and it was reactivated that same day when they disconnected or something I don't know you'll probably have better notes on that okay so just I, I just want to make sure I have the um, correct California account what what was the address there oh good I have the bill one second should have got it. I see. Oh, I'm very forgetful, obviously. Okay, yes, here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, it's you, still early. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Um, you want the account number you said? Or? Uh, well, the address first. Oh, uh, fifty-four thirteen, Governor Circle, Stockton, California, nine five two one zero. So I'm sorry. When when did you move out of there? September of August of 2014. I, I I work for Amazon. I got promoted to the corporate warehouses here in Seattle or corporate offices. Okay. Yeah. August 2014. Okay. Um. Well, whenever I activated my service here in Seattle, that's whenever I asked about the account in California, and they said, yeah, it's still active. This is why I canceled. Well, I canceled because I didn't know it was active, but also because they said that there was, like, a delinquency on it uh, of, like, a month or two because it has been paid. I was like, uh, yeah, well, I'm glad that they were nice enough to pay it up until that point at least. Uh, so it's 
whenever I called in for service for Seattle is whenever I talked to the same representative to disconnect. All right, so that was September of 2015. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah, like two months ago. All yep. Right. Yep, I've had service here for two months. Feels like a, like a month or so, but I guess two months. I guess why it seems like a month is because when I activated service, I actually went to Kansas for two weeks and I didn't really do anything with the system until I got back. That's probably why it feels so short. All right, I do see the, the notes on the California account from September 30th saying that yep. um, it left him on for the roommate, but the roommate stopped paying. And well, well, I didn't really leave him on. I didn't do it on purpose anyway, but. Oh no! That I I <laughs> I did AT&T. I see, like in October. Eleventh. Was disconnected. Uh, well, September thirtieth, they entered the disconnection, and then it oh. typically stays open for okay a period of time. Yeah, yeah that's a, yeah, that's that's like the reason I know these days because that's what we were talking about last night as well. And so it got reactivated because what he said is that Sherry, which was the landlord that I was going through, because uh, I was renting a room, so I got Xfendi internet for my room. And that's like I set up for disconnect and Sherry, they, he said that Sherry went and authorized the account to be reactivated, but she's like, she added herself as an authorized representative because he said that she had access to the account number and that's what you guys use as the passcode. Instead of like, what's the first name of your dog? All right, so she she wasn't authorized by you at all? That and is. She added herself? That, that, this is what, yeah, because yeah, cause the account is in my name. I don't, like here, even in, here in Seattle, I don't have anybody else on the account. So, and, and, I, and I don't with anything for the simple fact that like I've been screwed just like this too many times. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, so this is what has happened. We set up for disconnect. It, I don't know if it got disconnected or what, you know, something happened for her to call in, use the account number, get it reactivated, and authorized herself as an uh, as somebody who can make changes to the account. Those all happened on one day. It's not that she's not authorized, it's illegal. <laughs> It should have been disconnected on the 30th because I'm here in Seattle, not in California. I haven't, I haven't even stepped foot in California for a year since August of 2014. All right. I would love to go back one day, but... So let me ask you, if I have access to just some random person's account number, in theory, by the guy that said last night, as long as I have the account number, in theory, because that's your guys' passcode, I could go and add myself as an authorized representative on anybody's account. Would that be accurate? Uh, no. Well, <laughs> something happened. That. Something happened. <laughs> Well, she has my information because I was her tenant, so I guess she, she had access to my last four of my social. <laughs> so she could have had somebody call in for me. No, that's fine. Yeah, I, I got it. Kind of helping me look at this. Yeah, I. Oh, am I? Yeah, you lucky call number one. Yeah, I, I did AT and T. I did at t Uverse support at a call center, so I, I got you. I know what you mean when looking through notes. All right. Now, have you filed like any type of police report? Or? Well, that it, this was uh, uh, whenever I called last night, which was like seven thirty, eight o'clock here Pacific Standard Time. So uh, I wanted to. T he said to call you guys, so I'm talking to you guys first, and then my next course of action is what you said, depending on how this call ends up. <laughs> All right. 
So this, this is what I do know that I owe you guys on this California account is uh, there was like, like whenever I disconnected, she said that there was like a balance, whatever that balance is, which might be the 8717 that says it's past due on this bill, plus whatever it costs to pay for the modem. Like that's what I, <laughs> that's what I committed okay. to is that's, but the, like what is charged after that cancellation date is like, I'm not paying. <laughs> I, yes. I, I know, I know, but I have to ask. <laughs> okay, I have yeah, you, to ask. Yeah, you got it. You asked me what questions we need to do, we'll get this resolved. Yes, get her name off of there and don't allow anybody else to authorize it. Even if it's me, do not even allow me to authorize anybody else. Just in case if she tries to do the same thing and pretend she's me. Because that's probably what happened last time. She probably had somebody, because she has all my information, right? I was her tenant. Oh, can we do that? Like a like a password? Like I have to give you a a, a, a word or something? Yeah, um, just just so that you know, because like I said, the worker herself will stay open for a period of time, but I don't want anybody to call in. Yes. So that's it. That, that um, that's the what we're doing today. Well, other than what we're like getting this passcode and stuff set up, is exactly the same process I went on the thirtieth to get everything disconnected. Because I had to get that disconnected okay. before I got it turned on in Seattle. By choice. All right. All right. What's, what, what would you like to use as password? Um, and I could just choose any random. Uh, that's that's the first name it's of. Double stumped. <laughs> well, actually, it's the it's my my favorite dog I had when I was growing up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cute. No longer with me, but just that's how it is. Is there a way to put in there also saying that like, if I, cause I won't forget this, I promise you, I won't forget it. Where if I, like what happens if somebody calls them, pretends to be me and says they can't remember that passcode, what's the alternative? Cause she has all my information. Does it that's does it go one. does it go no. back to the account number? <laughs> if it does, <laughs> I think that's exactly what has happened. Yeah, I mean, can we can can you put in the note saying that? Because uh, I won't forget this password. If individual doesn't know password, do not allow them to make changes to the account. All right. Is that, is that fair enough to say? That's good, yeah. Okay. Like I say, I, I won't forget that. If you guys say what's the passcode, I got you. I, I know what it is. Same passcode I use for everybody else. Now you know this. Don't use it. <laughs> <laughs> Not much I can do with it, though. Yeah. Do, do, do you have a, what, like, don't, if this has to make you alter something, but uh, do you have, like, a, when her name was added to the account? Or, like, as no. an authorized representative, you guys don't have that? No. So um, it could have been yeah. on that same day. We just don't know. Because right. because I, I know for a fact I didn't do it. Like, I told the guy last night, like, her name is Sherry, and I know the name Sherry because she was this Asian woman. Like, she had a really long name. But when I had to write out the rent re like checks, I had to put it in her long full name. So like, I know of Sherry, uh, and she goes by Sherry. So, like, but yeah, I, I have here Sherry. Yeah. Um, all I see is that on October 11th that she had called in because the 
services weren't working because the disconnect had gone through. And ding, ding, ding. I, I, that was the day. They transferred her to the sales department, but it doesn't say when she was when she was added as authorized. Okay. I mean, there's no specific notes, so yep. um, I would have to. I mean, I I can't say for sure, but from the looks of it, it was in oh. October. So oh, October 11th. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she... All right, and now, any, anytime we do, like, make changes to the account, they do send out, like, a confirmation email. Got it. Um, the email that I have on file is uh, powerrenter2000 at hotmail.com. Is that you? Yep, that's me. Okay. Man, maybe I... I you guys should have even sent me an email whenever it got reactivated or something, right? I didn't even get that. Um, <laughs> really? Yeah. Probably because, well, I mean, you would think, like you just said, I mean, if you guys reactivated yeah. the account, would I have gotten an email? Right. Yeah. Didn't even get that. Account number or All right. So I do have that as permanent notes. Okay. So that's I'm probably, like, like the mail's going to be coming to me. That's how I got this bill is because whenever it was disconnected, she said, do you want the last bill to go to California or or here to Seattle? That's how I got the bill. So she won't be getting the bills no more. But like I say, she has all the bills before, so she has all that information on the bill too. So just don't want her to call in again. That's what I'm afraid of. And so what do I do about the money that's owed after September 30th? Is that on me? Not take another course of uh, action? No, no, I'm, I'm oh. going to backdate in the, in the system. And oh, okay. Probably going to have to issue credits for part of it, but... Um, well, just let me know. Well, uh, probably not, because the billing stopped on the 30th, and then they restarted. I'll, I'll figure it out. I, I, I figure, I, and like, I'm going to tell you the same thing. Like, I have to pay probably for the modem because I, I don't, I've switched the phone twice since I've been from California. And I don't have that. I don't, I don't know even how to contact her. So I'm, <laughs> unless you guys can find a way to have somebody go out there to get the modem, I, I'll probably have to pay for that modem that's out there. So I have to be billed for that too. Well, it, it, well, well, I mean, I guess it's one of those things where, well, I the probably the whole reason was the reason I got Comcast and that because they didn't have TV or internet in the home, and the reason I had to get it for me is because they had like bad credit, <laughs> so um, so they couldn't get they couldn't get Xfinity because they didn't pay the bill, and they couldn't get Direct TV. I think was the other option because uh, bad credit, so. Um, that's why I had to get, I'm a YouTuber, so I have to have internet to be able to upload videos to YouTube, so I had to have it. But I guess whenever you still can't get it, the only way you can keep it is to do this. No, absolutely not. You, uh, I know that you're doing something on your end. Yeah, that's I. You, I got you. I'm just sitting here doing my work. I, I'm, I work for Amazon, like I said. So I'm doing my work while you're doing your work.
where we are now, money-wise. Balance due. Even if I have to pay for the modem? Well, the, the modem, um, uh -huh. the modem is $90. Okay, so I have to pay for that though, right? Or right. that, that is... Well, yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, she's not going to, yeah. Yeah, that, I don't even know how to get a hold of her to even tell her. That's why I said, like, uh, unless you guys uh, have somebody go there to say, hey, we need the modem. <laughs> That's the only way, so I would have to pay for it, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, we and don't I, do that and, if we did, which is almost as much as the modem is still, yeah. So. yeah. It, it can, is there a way you can take that money owed on the modem and attach it to my other bill, or is that a separate thing? That, that, that's going to be a separate thing. Let me make sure that... All right, can I pay that now with you? Or, or because I, I, I don't know. Can I go online to pay it? Because I don't know what the account is. Yeah, give, just give me one second, okay? Okay. So they do have your Seattle address as the, the forwarding address. I bet you they did that when. Uh, yeah, because because I because that's whenever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when yeah. we canceled it, she said, "Do you want the last bill to go to California or Seattle?" I was like, "Well, I haven't lived in California for a year, so send it here to Cal or to Seattle, so I can pay whatever was owed because there was a balance, and I had to pay for that modem, like I said." Oh, that's okay. Sure, if I have to call the payment a special way. Okay. As far as payment or or what? As far as payment for the actual bill, you don't owe anything. Okay. I disconnected the, the service, deactivated the California equipment server. Internet as of right now is not working. Okay. Um, and I also have those notes in the system saying not to use the social security number or the account number to verify the account, just the password. Got it. Very good. All right, and then the $90 I owe is going to be billed, because I have a separate card I want it to go on. That's what I'm saying. If you're going to escalate it so they can make the payment, have a separate card number I want it to be put on. So when you were in California, yep. was your phone number 209-229-5028? It was. Okay. 
Yep, yeah, I changed it here at zero. Nine, nine, three. What was that one? Uh, 209-662-9356. No, uh, that's not mine. That would be her. That, right. That's probably, well, at least I got the number now. <laughs> I'm going to take that off of the account, though. Yep. So that, you know, that's not going to be one of the verification things. Okay, yep, that's good. Good call. I appreciate that one. No problem. All right, that's gone. That was actually from my cohort sitting next to me. Oh, thank you, coworker. <laughs> Okay. And other than that, I mean, how's your service going in Washington? Good? No, yeah, it's it's great. Yeah, it just, it's, uh, it just, you know, I, I, no issues <laughs> so far. You guys have been great here in Seattle. You guys were great there in California, too. It's just this hiccup, but we'll get through it. All right, awesome. Well, I do appreciate um, your, your patience and your kindness. All right, um, thank you we'll for your help. I work on this from this end on several different spots, but... Um, We'll, we'll get it taken care of for you, and somebody will be contacting you about the... The motor. Got it. Very good. All right. Thank you so much for your right. time. You are very welcome. Thank you for calling Comcast. And it was my goal to provide you with an excellent experience during this call. Do you feel that I achieved that for you today? And exceeded. Not only achieved, but exceeded. Oh, oh thank you. You're so sweet. All right. Thank you. <laughs> have a good morning. Go back to sleep for a little bit. Well, I'm, I'm at work, <laughs> too. Oh, yeah, I have to work today as well. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.